Hello everybody, I'm the Nerd Guy, and I just want to make a quick video to talk about something that's currently going on. Uh, the YouTube channel, The Bible Reloaded, a channel that I've been watching for years, recently got hit with five DMCA's at once. And these DMCA's were so flawed that even YouTube came out and said, no, this is fair use, you can go fuck yourself. Uh, however, since they've had issues with this production company in the past, it's the Cristiano Film Group, which makes awful, really terribly bad Christian movies. They've had issues with them before filing DMCA's. So uh, they've decided to sue Christiana Film Group. And I absolutely support this. If those five DMCA's would have went, gone through, their channel would have just been gone. They wouldn't even have a chance to fight against it. It would just be gone. And all of these five DMCA's were false. Uh, two, three of the videos were reviews of uh, Christian Film Group movies, but they didn't use any video material, they just used still images, which is... I mean, they could even use video material if they felt like it, but they didn't. Uh, and then the other two are just them talking about the previous DMCA they received from Christian Film Group and how that got resolved. They have no right to take those videos down, and even YouTube agrees with them. So, uh, the Bubble Reloaded, Hugh and Jake, has decided to make an example out of the Christian Film Group, so, they're going to sue them. I fully support this. I want, I want, I've been waiting for months, if not years, for a production company to get sued for treating YouTube as their, like, DMCA playground. Thinking that you can DMCA, DMCA, DMCA anything you feel like. You can't. There are rules to this. There are laws. So, I've been waiting for months for a production company to get sued so fucking hard they go bankrupt. So other production companies can look at that and go, oh shit, maybe we should stop doing this. So they've set up a GoFundMe account to get enough money for a lawyer. And they've currently reached $50,000 out of $100,000. Uh, I chipped in $10. It's the first time I've ever given anything to any crowdfunding campaign ever. But I really believe this is worth it. Because I want them to succeed. I want this to happen. Like I said, I've been wanting it for months or years. And I know $10 isn't much, but it's something. Like, as they said in their video, if every one of their followers or subscribers give $1, they have more than what they need. So I give them 10, because I figured there's probably 10 guys who's not gonna, who's not gonna give them anything. But if you're a follower of mine, I mean, I, I only have like, what, 700 something subscribers, but if you're a follower of mine, give them a dollar. Give them something. Like, a dollar isn't much. I, uh, if you're Swedish like me, a dollar is roughly seven kronor. Um, it's nothing. Like, ten dollars is uh, eighty-four. That's what I give them. So, just give them it all. Give them something. Some people here are giving way more. Like, this guy gave a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, five hundred, five hundred. Like, but anything, anything helps. You don't need to top the charts here. So, I'm going to link to that uh, GoFundMe page below. So go there and just give them something. Help them win this. Because if they do, they can hopefully set a precedent that companies can't just treat YouTube like a fucking playground. They're, they can be held accountable for doing bullshit like this. And if the Cristiano group, Cristiano movie group, whatever they're called, uh, goes under as a result of this, I couldn't give less of a fuck. Uh, they make awful movies. But, yeah, uh, I'm Nerd Guy. Give money to their... Uh, go find me page and until next time